Well, um, first, I <clears throat> I would say that the the human brain and the human mind is um, is disposed to create stories or narratives. Um, uh, um, uh, ch children love stories, make up stories. Um, uh, Jerome Bruner, a, uh, a great psychologist, has spoken of, t of t two modes of thinking. One is to create narratives, and one is to create paradigms or explanations or models. And of course, some of these will come together because then you want to have a, uh, a story which explains. Um, uh, we all come into the world, and human beings sort of sort of uh, evolved into a mysterious world and had to wonder uh, where they came from, uh, how the world came from, how what are the stars doing and and um, uh, the and in the absence of better explanations. Uh, I think sort of supernatural explanations sort of come to mind. There, there must have been some great figure who created the universe and, uh, and who perhaps is keeping an eye on us now. Um, and say before, um, uh, say before 1859, before Darwin, before the origin of species, um, uh, was published. Uh, um, there was no um, natural explanation of how different animals and plants had come into being, let alone human beings. I think I think of Freeman Dyson, a great physicist, who who once wrote. He said, "I am a practicing Christian, but not a believing one." So I think my parents were were practicing Jews, but not believing ones. I don't think that belief is a particularly strong thing in Judaism. But but but, but my mother was also botanically inclined, and I sort of, um, I mean, I as it were grew up in a Darwinian world, and um, uh, I was very startled when I came to the States, and uh, and found that um, millions. Millions and millions of people didn't believe in evolution. I, um, I still am profoundly perplexed. Uh, I, I um, um, you know, and, and, and to proclaim that one doesn't believe in evolution, uh, I, I think would, would label one as an idiot uh, in, in, in most of the civilized world, so, so certainly in Europe. Um, again, growing up in Europe, it was my feeling that the world, it was our feeling the world would become more and more secular. And, uh, and now, of course, it's a world stamped by, by mad, dangerous fundamentalism on, on all sides. And who would have thought that the 21st century would, would, would dissolve into religious conflict? I mean, for myself, I'm a sort of quiet, old Jewish atheist. I'm, um, I'm not a militant atheist. I, I, I don't sort of argue about things like Dawkins and Dennett and Sam Harris. I, I quite like their books, but, uh, but I'm not militant by nature, and I'm not very argumentative by nature. And if people want to believe, well, then that's their business. I mean, what concerns me is, is when belief is used to influence and corrupt education or politics. And it seems to me monstrous that creationism or so-called intelligent design is, 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 is taught next to evolution or, or instead of it. And uh, I, I do think of it as a, almost as a form of madness. Um, I, I think I need to say that there are specifically some conditions of the brain uh, which predispose to mystical or religious thinking. Um, and in particular, uh, when people have so-called temporal lobe epilepsy or temporal lobe seizures, they may have religious or mystical visions, or even between seizures, they may have a gradual personality change which disposes them to mystical and religious thinking. And, um, uh, and so I, I, um, uh, I think that thinking of this sort is, if you want, built into the nervous system, um, 
although it doesn't have to take an explicitly sort of theistic notion. I mean, Einstein always used to say that the most beautiful thing in the world is the mysterious. And I think that the s fundamental sense of mystery and awe and of the sublime is behind all science and art. Um, and uh, the, I mean, basically, um, I think science springs from, from a, you know, a sense of nature's mysteriousness and the wonder of nature. And there is no need to invoke anything supernatural. Uh, in indeed, I think too much involvement in the supernatural may blind one to the, the wonder of nature. And I'm, uh, and I'm, I'm slightly terrified by certain fundamentalists who, uh, who say, you know, um, you know, let the planet go to hell, sort of, you know, the, the final coming is going to be soon. God, God will take care of it all. Um, I, I, I mean, I, I, I live for myself happily and completely within nature. I love it. I, um, I, I, I have a sense of being at home. I don't pine for, for anything else. And so I think those parts of my temporal lobes are devoted to, as it were, to an almost religious feeling for nature. Mm -hmm.